All right, Kim White here. Uh, let's got a little couple of things on my mind I wanted to throw out at you, uh, MMA fans. Uh, oh, I got two questions that I would like for everybody to answer for me. Just two simple, plain yes or no questions. Then any other comments you want to leave, that's great. Um, the first question is, have you ever seen an unfinished fight where a fighter could not continue go to a judge's decision before WEC 38? And do you think an unfinished fight where one fighter is unable to continue should ever go to the judge's hands. Okay, those are the two questions. Uh, and do me a favor, put a little thought into it. And the first question, uh, <clears throat> if you have to, uh, you know, research it a little bit, go into your own uh, uh, your own vault up there, and see what you can uh, dig out of there, and uh, please come up with something. Maybe hit some websites and try to find some fights. Let me know uh, if you've ever seen that happen before, that, ever. In boxing or MMA, I'd like to know. Um, we came up with a little list of fights that I've seen that uh, I know of that are the opposite. And I would also like for you to send me any video or comments on fights that you can remember in the recent uh, history of MMA that, or ever in MMA or boxing, that uh, a fighter was unable to continue and they lost their belt or they lost the fight due to that, uh, which is what happens. I mean, uh, I've never known anything other than that to happen. Um, <coughs> I'm going to go way back on you, way, way back. Uh, how about uh, in their... Uh, Second match uh, in the uh, Pancrase Championships, uh, Boss Rutten and Frank Shamrock. Frank Shamrock was unable to continue. Boss Rutten won, and I believe won the title. Um, what about UFC 46? What about Randy Couture and, and Vitor Belfort? Randy Couture had beat Belfort once. It was an illegal, at uh, illegal poke to the eye, it, um, unintentional. Poke to the eye, just like Cowboy Cerrone's unintentional knee to Jamie Varner, uh, inadvertent knee to Jamie Varner. Um, you know, there was never a punch landed in the fight. Vitor scraped Randy's eye, and anybody who's been watching him and made it for any amount of time, seen the fight a thousand times, uh, you know, Randy never even, uh, <laughs> he never even, he never even uh, hit Vitor. They, it, it lasted about 30 seconds and Randy lost his belt because he was unable to continue if you're unable to continue you lose flat out okay uh, what about Anderson Silver Patrick Cote here a while back they fought to the last round uh, wasn't a title fight uh, that I know of uh, if it, I, it might have been but, but, but they, they, it was in the, the Third, third round, oh, okay, I'm sorry, my bad on that. It was the third round of a title fight. Uh, first person to make it out of the second round was Silva for a long time. And uh, Cote's knee went out, Silva won the fight. Okay, Cote was unable to continue. Um, what about uh, the cut with Fedor? The, dudes, the dude should be 31-0, and 0, you know, and his record says he's 30-1. and 1. Why? Because in the first minute of a fight, he caught an elbow and his eye got cut. The doctor stopped it. He was unable to continue. He lost the fight. Uh, what about Bobby Lashley's first fight? The guy was cut. First minute of the fight. Bam. Lashley won. The guy was unable to continue. Uh, you know, so my question is, what the fuck is so special about Jamie Varner? Uh, this dude, in the middle of the last round, he's unable to continue. What happens? Surrounding's the champ, man. You know, I don't give a damn who was running on points the whole fight. It doesn't make any difference. Uh, it doesn't have anything to do with the illegal knee, and I'll tell you why. Because before the doctor even got to Varner, before the doctor was even in the ring to look at Varner, before Varner even got off his knees, before Varner even lifted his head up for anybody to look at it, the referee said, 
the knee was unintentional, I'm not going to take the point from you. Okay? I, he said, if you listen to the audio of the tape, he tells the jury loud and clear, I'm not going to take the point. So therefore, that that didn't have anything to do with anything as far as uh, going to a decision. Uh, I'm not going to dispute the fact that, that, that Jamie Varner couldn't see. They said his retina was detached. So obviously, uh, I saw him tell the doctor, he said, how many fingers am I holding up? Jamie Varner said, one. And then he looked, he kind of shook his head, and he said, man, I can't see. And I'm not going to dispute that, okay? Jimmy Varner was whooping ass the whole fight. He beat the shit out of Cowboy Cerrone. Just 10 a couple of those rounds, you know? And uh, I'm not trying to take anything from the guy. But just like Randy Couture, you know, who at that time was already better well known than, than Jamie Varner and was was a better you know, better fighter than Jamie Varner and uh uh you know, he lost his belt to Belfort because he got his eye cut, man. He, the, if you can't continue the other guy wins and, and Belfort's camp even celebrated the victory, I mean, you know, um it just uh it, 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 I, I, it doesn't make any sense to me why why that happened um, you know uh, there's no disrespect to Jamie Garner but but uh, he just I don't really care for the way he carried himself after the fight he was kind of arrogant and talked about I got a broken hand man I'm better than that his guys wrapped the belt around him um, if you can't continue, you lose the fight. I don't know how many times I can say that, but uh, and what happened was in the middle of the fifth round, he caught the knee, couldn't see, and all of a sudden, well, we're gonna this fight's gonna go to a decision. What? No, no, that don't happen. Uh, that wasn't right at all. And the thing that upsets me about it, it seems like Cowboy Cerrone, such a such a mellow, nice dude, or something that he that that the guy don't even uh, I don't know, man. They did that as far as I know, there hasn't been an investigation into it. And last time I looked on Sherdog, it still said that it still was a win for Varner and a loss for Cerrone. So uh, I, unless the uh, unless the uh, Nevada State Athletic Commission has turned that over and made it a no contest, which I'm still expecting and waiting to see, but hasn't happened yet. Um, you know, I, it just upsets me. So uh, do me a favor. Answer the two questions. If you can show me a fight where a guy were, has quit or a doctor stoppage and it still went to a decision, send me the footage. Tell me the fight so I can look it up and, look it up and watch it. Uh, if you have, think of any fights or footage or fights you can name where... A fighter has lost and lost their belt or just lost the fight due to the fact they could not continue, such as Randy Couture at 46. Uh, please tell me that. Send me those. I'd appreciate it. Uh, uh, it's just something that I wanted to uh, get off my chest, and, the, and I had mentioned it in another video, and nobody really paid attention to it, so. I just wanted to shoot it right out there. Uh, at least all my uh, subscribers can can give me their two cents on it, you know. And so, uh, everybody have a good night. It's been the last word we can, but.